All right, hi there YouTube, it's me, More Student America, and in this video I'll be talking about the Korean Dragon Blades patch notes. Now, as you can see on the screen right now, we are entering the fourth anniversary, and I think, I think that the, the uh, date that's on the screen right now, February 7th is, excuse me, February 17th is when you want to log in. It's actually that anniversary login. And when you do log in on this date, most likely you will get one free overload choice, one ring of the lion, and 40,000 rubies. So you definitely want to get on for that day so you can get your free rewards, especially if you're free to play. Now, it says that this anniversary event is going to last around 5 weeks, ending somewhere between middle or late February. So I don't know if this event is already kicking, it, kicking in right now, but you definitely want to log in every day so you can get your free rewards and, you know, do your daily things that you need to do for Dragon Blaze. Now, other than that, we are getting two new overlords. And I think this is Captain Clay Esser? No, 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 excuse me. This is Captain Clay Esser, and this is apparently Jane D. Gaval. Now, I may have butchered, butchered her name, but I'll give you guys my opinions about, uh, what is it? About these Overlord characters in a bit. Now, apparently they are doing a permanent trance essence increase in Challenger's dungeon. Now, this is Challenger's Dungeon, not Storyline Dungeon. You definitely want to spam Challenger's Dungeon if you are playing on the Korean Dragon Blaze because of the other skill tree and the buffs that comes along with it. If you don't know much about the Challenger's Dungeon, go ahead and check out my video talking about it. Most likely, Global will be getting this eventually. Other than that, I think they're cutting down the prices for rubies, transcended essences, and some other good sort. And this screen right here talks about the rewards if you log in during the anniversary event or that specific date. Now, once again, I may be wrong about that, but, you know, go ahead and check the Dragon Blaze Wikipedia. Because it gives you all the information and news about the Korean Dragon Blaze. Link can be found in the description below. Other than that, uh... As you can see, they are also doing something for the login, so you definitely want to make sure you log in for the, uh what january 18th to the f 24th uh and then there's more stuff along with it i think and then i think this is the same news from last time too so let me talk about these overlords all right so i was wrong with the names apparently this is captain clay esser and this is jane d gaval I'm kind of icky about the names. I was not expecting this guy to be called Jane and then this one to be called Clay Esser. Now, I might be wrong with the names or it may not be the actual translation from, you know, Korean to English, but hey, I I like staring at the characters. But uh, let's talk about Captain Clay Esser. Now, apparently she is holding a rapier. Now, trying to think about all of the Dragon Blaze characters, characters excuse me i think most of the characters do not use a rapier and uh i'm sorry if i'm pronouncing rapier wrong but uh yeah the thing is with a rapier it's kind of used for duels and stuff so taking that into consideration she's either a warrior i'm leaning heavily on warrior or she's a rogue character and i might get her because of that now I'm not a big fan of warriors as much, but because I have Ban and because I'm leaning more towards the physical team on the Korean Dragon Blaze, I might get him. Over in my global account, it's a different story since, you know, it's way behind compared to the Korean Dragon Blaze and I'm kind of going with the same dealio. However, I actually have the possibility to go through a magical team on the global compared to the Korean because I've been focused more on the global than the Korean. Uh, but yeah, I don't know though, I'll wait for her movesets, but her design is literally the captain, and I kind of figured that, hey, uh, the icon for the Korean Dragon Blaze app is her face, so I was like, they're releasing new overlords and I may want to get them. But yeah, once again, I'm, I've been wrong about some of the classes, I was surprised with the last two, because actually, 
I was leaning on the fact that the guy was an encanter, however I did not know he was focused more on the magical side of things, but then again we don't have that many encanters that focus on magical uh, stuff, so th that's a good thing for magical teams, but when it comes to uh, the other the other overlord, the Tanya, or wait, how do I pronounce it? Lelona? Yeah, Lelona. Um, Lelonia. Okay, I can't remember how to pronounce her damn name, but yeah, that chick, that reminds me of Tanya. I'm gonna call her Tanya from now on. Uh, I did not expect her to be an archer, because she has a hammer and a ball. But apparently she whacks the ball, and yeah, it makes her an archer. So this one may be a pal... It may be a warrior, but it could also be a rogue, or maybe a paladin, question mark. Now, the other dude. I'm kind of got the vibe that when, when it comes to the Estal's fleet, they're pirates. Because here's the captain, and most likely she's the leader of all of the other uh, Estal fleets, overlords, units. But when it comes to this guy... He's a power wizard, apparently, from what I'm reading on the Wikipedia, and, uh, I'm surprised that they would give him a s uh, He might be the mage, that's what I'm getting at. Because he's apparently the power wizard Jane D. Gaval. Most of us are the strongest magic of flesh, can you believe it? Uh, Jane D. Gaval is the wizard of the space pirates, he's never a warrior or fighter. Yeah, I'm kind of confused to that because, you know, he has fist weapons, but I can kind of guess what's going to happen. He might be able to, you know, empower his hands with a bunch of ungodlike magic and just wreck everything. So, yeah, with his design, it's pretty straightforward. He is buff as hell, though. <laughs> He's really huge. And, um, I guess I can compare him to Prometheus, question mark? But I don't know. Uh, he, this guy seems a bit toned out, but then again, I haven't looked at Prometheus as much. I know if I hit that X button, I won't be able to come back to the screen, so, yeah. When it, when it comes to this guy, I'm alright with his design. However, his class might raise a few eyes, eyebrows to me, because if he is the mage, how good is he? Because magical teams are a thing in, in the Korean Dragon Blaze. And going back to the captain, it looks like when it comes to the Estal fleet's overlord units, they will have a pirate theme to them. Now, the previous two overlord units, the Tanya lookalike and that one guy whose name was Jerusalem. I th actually, no, I think his last name was Jerusalem, but I forgot his first name. Um, yeah, that, that's questionable, but these two definitely fit the pirate sort of theme because the coat... Uh, what is it, the, the half-nakedness, the, I don't know, you, you can just feel that pirate vibe to them. Um, but yeah, going back to her, her design reminds me of Llewellyn, but it looks like she's a gender bend of, of band plus Llewellyn. Because that thing around her, <laughs> actually no, I should shut up. <laughs> Uh, I was gonna say something. Her cape reminds me of Llewellyn, and then also, it reminds me of Selene as well because she does have a cape, but it doesn't have like the fancy, uh, goad shoulder thingies. And then, there's a bunch of ruffles as well. But yeah, she does look like a gender bend of Ban, thinking about it, because Ban has, what, silver hair? Like, that tone of hair that she has. And, uh, she might be an equal against him. Now, I haven't looked at the other guy, Sigurd, the other um, warrior unit yet, so... Yeah. But when it comes to her design, I'm kind of confused to why she would have a rapier than two blades at her waist. Maybe she can use all three of her blades uh, when she's pushed to the edge, like... Zoro from One Piece where he uses three blades so although I don't know if she can actually use them at the same time but maybe she can because there's a couple anime characters out there that would use like you know three three blades in one hand or three 
katana is in one hand, and then in the other hand it has another three, so they're technically using six. Date Marisume from Sig Sengoku Basura, for example, uses six katanas. But other than that, that's pretty much it for this. It, uh, yeah, 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 I can't speak. Pretty much it for this uh, 4D news. So, what do you guys think about these two Overlord units? Will you get them? Question mark or will you wait for the move sets? What do you think about the designs and etc. etc. But with that being said, I'll see you guys around. Peace.